But let's delve into the world of buffering on your Fire Stick. It's not just your Fire Stick, streaming devices, but it gets brought up a lot on Fire Sticks regarding streaming. If you're trying to stream your favorite films, TV shows, and people get buffering, you're not the only person, so don't worry, but we get asked a lot about it. So let's go and have a look at all the different factors, some fixes, some things we can try and look into to try and make it better. We will delve into internet speeds, we will delve into VPNs, how they can slow your internet, we'll delve into how you can shut apps, and we'll also look at one thing which a lot of people miss over, storage space on your device. So follow through with me, let me know any advice you may have in the comments, and let's get this done. So before we start, hit that follow button so we can keep you up to date with the best apps, your tips, your tricks, and everything for your streaming. And obviously, we mentioned VPN briefly at the beginning. If you are using a VPN, you want to use one of the best and fastest VPNs to help prevent your buffering as well. We'll go into it. Make sure you get one. There's one linked underneath. IP Vanish has got a great offer on, and they hold some of the best speeds around. So first thing we're going to look at, Fire Sticks. Streaming device, quite low when it comes to memory um, storage, but they're streaming devices. You shouldn't be storing too much on it. This is one of the key things that get people and they don't understand is they ram as much on their device as possible and that's actually can cause your buffering so let me show you what i'm talking about so if you go to applications here you will see a storage mine's i've got quite a bit empty i've got uh 6.19 gigabytes available this is one of the larger fire sticks with the bigger memory never going to use all of that because i've got a few streaming apps on there that's all i need okay so if you had, say, only a couple of hundred megabytes available, when you stream a film, say it's a large streaming file with large audio, it's a few gigabytes this file, and you would have to download part of it to watch it. So when you stream a program or a film, or even live TV, you download a temporary file, it's stored on your device, you watch that bit, and then it deletes it and installs a fresh bit. If you haven't got any space on your device, it can't download enough of that temporary file, so you have that buffer zone, so it's going to catch up with itself. It hasn't downloaded enough and it'll start buffering. So always make sure, if you can, you've got enough space on your device. I'm not saying you need six gigabytes, but as much as available you can keep. For instance, you want at least half a gig, really, because then you've got space for streaming large files. A little bit different if you're watching the likes of Netflix and that because they, obviously, they compress their files very small. They're not as large as if you're streaming large gigabyte uh, 4K movies from whichever application you decide to use. Clearing cache to help with that doesn't really help because next time you open that um, app, that cache is coming back as well. So that's a real big one that no one takes into account. Another one can be how many background apps are running. So apps running in the background of your device. A lot of people say you don't need to install this background apps and processes list to help with your buffering. You can just go into settings and force close every app. The problem with that is it's a little bit long winded. This app isn't very big. The long-winded way you means you close every single application, even if it's running or not. This background apps and processes list, when you open it, it will show you what apps are actually running in the background. So when your Fire Stick fires up, launches up, because it rarely turns off, it just goes into sleep. Applications launch in the background, and these are running in the back, which are open using some form of resources. That means they've got a connection, they're making a resource. So you can click on where it says close all apps. You click that, and it will go through each one, and you can just force stop it. And then you push the back button, you force stop, then the little black arrow button, and you just go through each one. And you force stop them all until they're all closed. Um, leave your VPN running, so you just skip past that one. Force stop, force stop, force stop. And these are all just running in the background. I bet a lot of you have even more running than I do. And there we go. So we've just got the one running now, so you haven't got so much running in the background using up your resources. That will help as well. Another good part of this is internet speed. Um, if you don't have a fast internet, again, say your internet speed is low, you can find out your internet speed on your connection to your actual device under settings and network. You can go to push the play button, check network status, and then you can run a speed test at the bottom here. And if your internet speed isn't very high, you can't always stream the files you might want to or the live TV you might want to. For example, if say you have an internet speed under sort of 10 megabytes a second or megabits a second, should we say, if it's under that, you can't stream full HD live TV. Don't even bother trying, what's the point? You're just gonna get issues. See there, my internet speed's 142 megabytes per second. That's with a VPN running as well. 
And it says I can support up to 1080p streaming, but that is only because I'm on a 1080p monitor. But it will tell you video streaming without interruptions. This will help you see what you can and can't do. Okay, so really useful little trick and tip there as well. When it comes to your VPN, make sure you are using a server close to your location. If that if you are not needing it for geolocation or anything like that, or geolocks. So say you're in America, use an American server in a state near you. If you're in the UK, use a UK server in a town near you or select the fastest one available. With IP Vanish, which is linked underneath in your settings, you can also pick some different options which can really help you out as well, okay? Obviously, you've got your Connect on Android Starter. Make sure you're using VPN protocol WireGuard. That is the fastest one. So if you've got WireGuard available for you, use it. It's one of the fastest ones you can use. Um, obviously, you can have your kill switch on, which does help, but that's just more down your security side rather than your speed side. And if you don't need your VPN on certain apps, split tunneling is there. So with this, you can manage apps. So for instance, if your VPN is struggling playing certain applications, so maybe it's not working on your Prime or something like that, or an application, you can turn it off if you don't mind it and you trust that app. So for example, for Apple TV, if I highlight it, my VPN won't go on that. Then you don't have to worry about your geolocation. You don't need a VPN running on another VPN, if that makes sense. But personally, I leave it on as much as apps as I can because I want to be safe and I don't want them having my data. Brilliant. That's majority of all the little tips I've got for you today for your buffering. The VPN is on great offer. It's linked underneath. You will see it here. Uh, just $2.19. Let me look, change my screen so I can see it as well. It's just $2.19. And if you want it in a different price, up the top here, I got them to add a drop down list. So English money, pounds, £1.58. Uh, we go somewhere in Europe. There we go, one euro ninety seven. All different prices there. Okay, so we've got quite a few different prices. I've got them to add, mainly because it's easier for you to understand the actual price in there. But you get unlimited devices with this VPN. One of the fastest VPNs out there with no data transfer caps. Proxy web servers, one hundred and forty five plus locations, multiple connections, verified no logs. You can put this on as many devices as you can. So you can just share it to your family members if you want to, if you trust them. If you trust them. Brilliant. So I've been Doc Squiffy, that side. Remember to follow the channel. My quick tips channel is that side. Squiffybetii.ai underneath is a sports prediction, but that will be having all my giveaways and raffles coming soon. Brilliant. Thank you all for watching. Hit that follow button, and I'll see you on the next one.